Yeah, less lesson time. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Boy, I'll tell you what, we got it measured on the lower end. Time to turn our attention to the pistons and maybe even the crankshaft bore, Brian. I'll tell you what, the pistons got a big, big job. We all know that, but there's a lot of technology even in these guys as well. I'll tell you what, we got them all cleaned up. You know, the rings, the old rings, may it matter just kind of peeling them off. We'll just kind of work them around and get them off of there for you. I'm yeah. going to hold on to that while well, we actually got the new ones over there. So there's a top ring. There's three rings. That's great. I'll use that for a scraper. You want to bust them. That's great. Tell us a little bit about the rings. Absolutely. Big job with the rings, right? You've got compression rings and then you've got this guy, the oil ring. And I'll tell you what, this is a really good moment for a quick sermon on oil rings. We talk all the time about keeping your oil fresh, the right oil in your vehicle. You want to give this oil ring every chance you possibly can to be successful at every piston. When you take that times eight with the wrong oil or old oil or burnt oil, that actually can't do its job and keep that piston cool and lubricated. So it's a little thing that means the world. That's the truth. Now you got your rings off. You're going to have some carbon buildup. You can go get your fancy tool like this. Basically just goes in the ring gap right here. And when it goes inside of the ring gap, you can put it in there. And then what you're going to do is just kind of drive it around inside of the ring gap. And that's going to go ahead and cut the ring, go all the way around, get the carbon out. But Brian, we're all about old school, man. You remember when I pulled that ring out? That yeah. was nice. It broke. Guess what? Absolutely. I got me a ring cleaner, man. You know, the thing that's interesting. Put it in about there, run it around clean all the carbon out of there. Use an old broken ring, works great. Absolutely. Let's check the land. We can also put a ring in there and check the new land. And we've got 15 thousandths here and we can just check this and see if we're within spec. Absolutely huge. We want that clearance. So I'm gonna stick a ring in there like that backwards. Right in here. Yep. Get it down in. Let's check it. There you go. We're good and you can roll. Go no-go yep. gauge right go, there. Go, go, you're Wonderful. good. Wonderful. Yep. You know, if that was too tight, it's going to stick in there. It's not going to work. You're going to yep. get blow by in the engine. It's not going to expand. That's a huge job. It's a big deal. All right. We also want to check ring end gap. This is pretty cool. I can take the ring right here. This is huge. I'm going to put it in the cylinder. I mean, there's a bunch of measurements you can make. We're just going to show you a couple of them. Take the piston while the ring's off. Kind of square it up in the cylinder a little bit, a little ways down. Then I'm going to come back and take my feeler gauge set. When I got my feeler gauge set there, yep. I want to go right into the end gap of the ring and I want to check it. I want to make sure that everything's all right if I have enough clearance. Well, what's the clearance? Well, take a look at the graphic, man. Once again, go to the service manual. There's a thousand different specifications for these jokers. If it wasn't right, take it. They have a ring cool, fancy ring followers, man, and file that joker. You can come back here and just hit it a couple times. Make sure it's right. Make sure it's going to go in there. I in mean, there. that's huge. In there. Once again, too big of a gap. Blow by, not enough gap, binding, it's not going to open, it's going to have a problem. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, let's roll this thing around to the bottom end, the business end of this thing, and we'll see how the other end goes. Yeah, I mean, a couple other measurements before we do that real right. quick. We put the piston in, we're going to measure the piston, make sure it's clearance. Remember we did the block last week, yep. want to make sure that's not going to be too tight, that's going to bind up. And then when we install the rings, super important that we install them right. Inside of the rings, there's different markings. There's top markings, bottom markings, dots. You want to put on our ones, we're going to put the bottom one down with the dot up and the top one up there with no ring at all, no dot. And the up position, that's huge. Really, so you want really to make important. sure you follow that, Brian. We need to head to the bottom of this joker. All right, the business end. Come on okay. around. Look there we that. go. Nice, like nice, it. yep. Get it level here for us. There we, there we go. go. All right, you want to talk main bearings for just a minute? Absolutely. Okay, so this is critical. Obviously, times eight, times four, whatever you're working on. But first things first, when you get the new bearings, obviously you want to make sure all your surfaces are perfectly clean and they only go in one way. A lot of people mess this up. You want to see, see the holes right here? They've got to line up. These are your oil passages. And this is going to sit down and see the indentation right here. That's got to line up as well. If it doesn't, don't force it. You got the wrong one. All right, we're in place there. Perfect. Now, when it comes to bearings, they're very, very thin. The metal is tin. You got embeddability, so stuff can get in there. You have what's called crush. When you put them in, it's going to smooch each other. And you have what's called spread. When you put it in there, it's kind of tight to put it in there. Brian just mentioned that. Look at this tab's going to be on that side. That's on this side. If it's not, they're going to spin. That's going to how it locks the bearing in there. So I'll put mine in there as well. And Brian, we can go ahead and put it on there. We'll just kind of do a dry fit. Give us a basic understanding of what the crankshaft size is going to be and our bearing clearance. Yeah. So get it started. You got a couple of bolts over there. Absolutely. On the stud on the outside. Yeah, that's right. our drip pan, our oil. That's it. And we're not going to torque these down to the spec. We just kind of want to show you how you're going to take a measurement. Mm -hmm. Again, you'll do this on both ends. So if we torque right. this down. And tap it down tap a little bit down, just to give an idea. I mean, seated. You take your telescoping gauge. You take a reading right here. 
All right. right. So I do that. Come in here. I want to be careful with the bearing. Yep. Then I come in here and pop that joker open like that. Whoop, Whoop. I missed. Capture it. Right. Strike two. All right. Let's do yep. this in here. There you go, buddy. Look at that. All right. All right. Now I can do that. I can do it perpendicular. I can go side to side. I can yep. do taper, all kinds of stuff. Yep. Come back, take a micrometer, and I'm going to read that. Now that's not telling me a whole lot, but it's giving me the number there. Gives you something to work with. Important, yep. I have to come over to the crankshaft now. Yep. So we come over to the crankshaft and we measure that same journal on the crankshaft, yep. the main journal. I'm going to measure it this way, this way, and then in and out for taper. And what I want to do is take that and subtract it from there, and then we can tell exactly what the bearing clearance is. That's important. Yep, get a napkin, piece of paper, whatever it is, do the math. You got to see that delta. Make sure you're within spec. It's critical. Absolutely. Now, you know, we're going to torque it to specification. Don't get all upset with us. <laughs> we're going to do some angle gauge torquing, and we're also going to show you plastic gauge, but you're going to have to wait till next week. We'll have this guy lined up and ready to go. All right, we'll do it right. So stick with us. Hey, we got some garage ed coming up in a minute. More Tech Garage. We'll be back. Presented by rockauto.com. <laughs> <laughs>